How likely is life after death? How likely is the phenomenon of rebirth or reincarnation? Consider this. A three-year-old boy solves his own murder. How, you ask? Well, according to German scientist Trutz Hardo, not only is it possible, but it happened. He describes the events in his book, Children Who Have Lived Before. He tells the story of his friend, Dr. Eli Lash, who witnessed the events of a young boy who had previously been murdered and then identified his killer in his new life. The boy, who was born with a large birthmark on his head, remembered being murdered. Reincarnation was a familiar custom in his village, so a group of 15 men was formed, containing village elders, representatives from neighboring villages, and Dr. Eli Lash. The group took the boy to the village where he claimed the murder took place. When they got there, the child recalled his past life name. A village local remembered a man by that name disappearing without a trace four years prior. The boy eventually identified his killer in town. He walked up to him, called the murderer by name, and said, I used to be your neighbor. We had a fight and you killed me with an axe. The boy then led the elders to the buried body and the axe that was used to kill him. The skull was cracked, matching the exact location of the boy's birthmark. The murderer confessed to the crime in front of everyone. Apparently, the boy's soul hovered over its murdered body and retained some memory of the event, at least enough to solve his own murder. Now, this isn't the only example of reincarnation. Let's go back in time to 1947 during Roswell, New Mexico's infamous UFO crash. Matilda O'Donnell McElroy of the U.S. Army claimed to receive telepathic information from one of the surviving aliens. In the book, Alien Interview, written by Lawrence Spencer, McElroy said the captured alien communicated to her telepathically that our soul never dies. And in fact, we're born over and over again, reincarnating each time with new lives on Earth. Even scientists are starting to pay more attention to the possibility of reincarnation. Dr. Michael Newton, founder of the Newton Institute for Life Between Lives, has made great strides in the subject of past lives. Dr. Newton used a special hypnosis technique to reach the hidden past life memories of 29 of his subjects. Following these discoveries, he assembled a model of the afterlife in his book, Journey of Souls. These types of stories are becoming more and more common as consciousness is raised. People are starting to understand that we are immortal beings having a physical human experience. Now this is not new knowledge. Many ancient wisdom cultures around the world preach this. But for some reason, the powers that be don't want us to know about this. Imagine having proof that life goes on after death and that a soul never dies. How different would you be? How different would the world be? And who profits from keeping this information from you? Find the truth for yourself.